Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm talking about how to uh, returning resources in Web API in ASP.NET Core 2.0. So select ASP.NET Core Web Applications and uh, change the name also. You can uh, Web API. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, I'll take. Uh, you can check your ASP.NET Core 2.0 uh, is available in Visual Studio 2017 okay uh, this is the empty project so must to use uh, the features of MVC model view controller uh, to change the startup file and uh, first of all add a new git package and that is a microsoft.asp.net core dot mvc this is the first uh, yeah, yes, Microsoft has not uh, install to use the MVC features. Okay, uh, now after this, you can uh, some changes in uh, your startup.cs file in the configure services method. You can use add MVC method, or you can check the MVC features because uh, the second actually the first is a uh, program.cs file and the second method run and after that configured is the third method to run on the browser the first time when your application is loaded okay use mvc in configure method so you can uh, enable your MVC features into, into your project. Now add a new controller folder, controllers folder, and add a new class which is inherited from the controllers class, controller class. Okay, let's to add. Okay. Now add a class that is movies the name of the class is movies and that class movies controller actually because the conventions of the controller is already there in asp.net core or you can say this is the features of asp.net mvc so now uh, that is inherited from the controller and that controller class is available in asp.net microsoft mvc okay now uh, return a json result because uh, web api uh, in later video tutorial i will uh, i will show you how to use the web api and the web api core projects so json result get movies is a method and return the new json object new json result actually that result it's not called any movies so create a object type of movies and the second video tutorial of this web api contain a model folder so you can say here uh, i will show you in the second video tutorial uh, of the web api uh, returning resources in web api with the model folder but uh, here use a simple a list of object written using the JSON result ID2 and the name of the movie is movie name 2 okay it's pretty simple but when, when you run uh, your application for the first time then there is a need of the path or you can say the route folder or you can say the route actually routing is uh, mainly two types uh, when you run your application default your first uh, thing is there in uh, startup.cs file when you run your uh, path api dot api forward slash movies then again the hello world is there and where your hello world is uh, exist 
you can check your startup.cs file and check the last thing is app.run under the hello world every uh, if your 404 is there then your hello world is ex uh, appear so first of all uh, learning about the routing there is two type conventional routing and attribute routing here yeah, the old version of conventional routing but here we use the attribute routing is the table shown on your uh, screen so first method get attribute http get label action and the forward slash is api movies so this is the path so let's again so use attribute routing here it's simple uh, to use attribute routing use uh, just before your action method http get with the api is that the path where you can run your applications http get api movies and let's to check again there is no 404 is there uh, check api that forward slash movie your JSON result is there okay if you set your uh, route uh, on your controller section if you want to set your uh, routing on the controller class then use route attribute okay so first of all stop debugging and use a route attribute here just before your controller name route and the path is the same api and the movies and if you want to get the single movie at a time or you can to pass the id here so uh, api and the name of the controller so name of the controller is movies and if you want to get the uh, single uh, movie like the movie name uh, according to your their id property so let's see my second video tutorial of web api to get the based on the id or you can say based on the parameters based on the get parameters that is one pass the id property in the url web api movies and slash one okay this there is there if you want to use id property in url so thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my second video tutorial which is related on web api and please subscribe my channel thank you very much